Hey, what's up, YouTubes, YouTubians, YouTube peoples? Oh, uh, man. So, what am I going to talk about today? Let's talk about the different scams. Let's talk about scams. I just watched a uh, Axel Live. That's the name of the YouTube channel. Another guy that does expediting um, content. He, I, he has his own um, has his own expedite company, his own uh, U.S. DOT running rights authorities, and he got into some of the different scams that goes on. And there is a lot of scams from uh, shady business owners. Um, to people that are saying that they have a, you know, oh, we're a dispatch service. We will, uh, we're going to take 15% of whatever the load pays. And, um, you have to get your own, own ins commercial insurance and your own, uh, cargo and liability insurance, but we're going to take 15% and, uh, we're going to find you loads. You don't have an authority, and they don't have an authority, and they're they're basically booking loads for you with no authority. That's a scam. Can't you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. Um, or there's carriers that say, "Hey, look, yeah, um, you can come under our authority, and uh, you know, oh, sorry, uh, you have to." provide all your own insurance and uh yeah sorry we only got this load for 65 cents or 60 cents and then you go okay well show me the rate con oh no 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 we don't do that <laughs> there's a reason why they're not showing you the rate con if you can't see the rate con in my opinion then they're not being open and honest with you um, who's to say they didn't get that load for a dollar sixty? See what I'm saying? Maybe they probably didn't, but I'm just saying. So basically, they're they're getting a dollar for looking for a load for you, and you're doing the work for sixty cents. That doesn't make to me. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Uh, if you can't see, if they won't show you the rate con, maybe you're working for a fleet owner. That's a different thing. They're saying, hey, look, we're going to do 60-40 split. The van's going to average, I don't know, uh, 80 cents, let's say, off the top of my head. And then you're going to get 60% of that in a 60-40 split. You pay for fuel or tolls or whatever. You, as an individual, have to decide okay so if i'm getting 80 cents how much am i getting after i pay for fuel do i have to use my own credit cards do they have fuel cards All right so basically let's let's pretend that uh let's pretend that this speedy card is a fuel card you go into orientation or whatever or you go get your vehicle you're working for a fleet owner first thing to ask do you guys provide fuel cards? If the answer is yes, they'll take the money off your settlement. If the answer is no, you have to pony up your own credit card and uh, pay your fuel that way or debit card or whatever. Credit, credit, debit, pay cash. Um, you have to figure all that out. How much is it going to cost you to... Um, do all these loads and is it is it worthwhile because a lot of these uh working for fleet owners and say a company that they say oh yeah look yeah yeah we're gonna do uh you're gonna get 85 percent of uh what the load pays well is it 85 percent of 70 cents a mile is it 85 percent of a dollar 25 a mile is it 85% of $2 a mile? If they can't give you an open, honest answer or show you papers, look, this is what our guys run for, pay stubs, whatever, of different people, and not just the high dollar ones. You want the lower ones too. You have to really think 
before you get into this, is it worthwhile to work for a fleet owner or become an owner operator? Because there's expenses. With this van that I'm in right now, it's a 2018 Ram Promaster. I have, uh, hold on, bear with me here. It's going to beep. I have 374,000 miles on it. The two major things I've done to this van, one was uh, front the uh, front struts. One of the bearings were uh, binding, and you hear like a clicking sound. So I said, well, you know what? It's gonna get steering memory and all that stuff. So I changed both sides, okay? I think that cost me, uh, I think it was like 2,000 or two to three thousand dollars I don't remember now um what it cost I have gone through alternate alternators because I wired up the uh my battery charging system wrong I did not have a DC to DC charger which uh I probably should have done in to begin with but hey I learned a lesson so now I have a DC to DC charger that charges my deep cycle batteries in the back when the van's running um so there's expenses for you know i insulated it i put a window ac unit in the back i already had a honda generator i bought a swing away arm all that stuff costs money it's nice to have you have to be comfortable you can't be going down to laredo texas and trying to sleep during the day when it's 110 degrees and you're roasting like a baked potato um so there's a lot of scams out there. So do your due diligence. If you're look, thinking of buying a van, I recommend going with somebody like DKP Express out of uh, Minnesota. They have their own vehicles, they have vans, they have straight trucks, whatever if you wanna drive a van, non-CDL, jump in their vehicle, you drive. The only expense you have is food out on the road and that's it. You learn the industry figure out hey you know hey i'm making good money i kind of like what i'm doing no harm no foul you gotta you have a job you're, you're liking it you're making money decent money that um you're okay with hey great maybe six months to a year down the road you go hey man i want to buy my own van but i don't want a, a rooftop sleeper i want to get a uh something like a sprinter type van well there's lots of companies out there just do your due diligence and make sure they're a reputable carrier if you go with a smaller guy look go with a smaller company number one do they have contacts to get freight anywhere in north america including canada right do they have contacts to get freight do they have dedicated customers that call them all the time for loads or are they just doing bid boards? Okay. Bid boards, you're at the mercy of what's going on on the bid boards. So you could bid a load that's a three, say a 3,000 mile load. And these clowns want you to do it for $1,500. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> or you can do the same load. For thirty-five hundred dollars, and you're over you're over a dollar a mile. And are these smaller companies able to get you out of areas that uh, they don't have any contacts in? So if you go say to California for seventy cents, and you can't get out of California, then you have to what? Where are you gonna go? El Paso. Las Vegas so then you have to deadhead there so what did you really make at 70 cents by the time you deadhead maybe 25 cents a mile is it really worth it see you have to use this thing up here kind of in between your your ears and think about stuff before you do it because if you don't it costs you money and time and then you get pissed off 
So what I always recommend is sit down, think about it, think about what makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it. Don't go out and buy a $70,000 Mercedes Sprinter van before you've done any research or any type of van before you've done any research and basically jump into it and go, oh, how do I get loads? <laughs> That's the first thing you should look at. How do I get freight? Sign up with a reputable carrier. Even if you have no experience, most carriers will take you. You learn it for six months to a year. May not be the best carrier. Move on to a better one. Keep stepping up the ladder till you hit the top rung, whatever that may be. If it's with Load 1, Barrett Direct Line, uh, C5 Expedite. And I'm not affiliated with any of these people, okay? Uh, um, I'm just giving you guys an example of, of things that I have, I've heard from people from these top tier carriers. Or maybe go with uh, Active On, what are they called? Active On Demand? Ascent. Ascent on demand. Um, they basically do Active Arrow, which is Ascent now. They have their own bid board and dedicated customers and stuff like that. Uh, I believe they run for, I think it's a dollar a mile or something like that. I forget how they do it now. But uh, I know Bubba Lobuck that used to expedite before he passed away ran for them. Really happy. Um, so. And a couple other people I know are pretty happy with them. They got treated really well. Um, they consistently got miles, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, man, think, be aware of scams. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably usually is. But, uh, anyways, catch you guys later. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. You like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, leave them in the description and I'll do my best to get back to you. Right now I'm just waiting for a load, so I figured I would uh, pop out a video here. And then uh, I think it's almost nap time, just in case I get a night trip. So once again, I'm using this and thinking before I do stuff. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye for now.